Only one at a time here. It was just forever and a day. Hello, Susan. I mean, Sherry. <laughs> Sherry right now. Hello, Sherry. So sorry, everybody. I've never had no that worries. happen to me, but it sure was happening to me this morning. Maybe your computer doesn't like you. <laughs> Hello, Sherry. Hello. Hello. Okay. Whew. You could get back down to the business myself. Be able to do it today. Here we are. Okay. Now she hurt my forehead. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, there's Matthew. Yay! It happened. We got in. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Hi. Whoa! I hadn't had that happen to me before. I kept shut down the whole computer. I tried to try it again, but here we are. Hold on. I want someone else in right now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Admit, Nathan's trying to get in. You're all pretty quick to call me, though. Mm. Nathan, are you in? There he is. I texted you because I didn't know if you were busy or not. Woo! All right. So we're going to start off. A couple of you know him, but we have a visitor today. And this is Matthew Rosario from Crossroads. Okay? And he's going to talk to you about some opportunities for you. Right. The floor is yours. Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing? Pretty good. 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 Oh, I see some familiar faces. How are you guys doing? Good. <laughs> Hi. Cool. Um, so, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Matthew. I'm with Crossroads, and a lot of what I do is help people look for jobs. Oh, and also do kind of training with workshops and stuff uh, on how to get a job. And I'm currently recruiting for my program uh, where I can place you with employment uh, for up to 200 hours paid work experience. And now, stop. Now, I'll, I'll tell you real quick, because of the nature of everything right now currently with COVID, a lot of opportunities have been a little limited however a lot of employers that i've connected with and through my colleague who is helping me with job development we still have a lot of employers and resources available to help place people with work and even direct hires um so let me just get that one out of the way because i know that's a lot of big questions people have with the program is how can i work during covid uh, and there are still employers available and there are still opportunities. And so that's why I'm connecting with Sherry and connecting with a lot of people to try and promote the program Jordan. and help people look for work. Sorry, Matthew, when I see these guys playing around, I'm calling them on it. Sorry about that. <laughs> no problem. That's why I look that way. Okay. So then um first off does anybody have any questions so far about what i do yes i see a hand what jobs are available what kind of job so among the employers that have returned we still have smart and final uh only in three locations uh one that's located in carmichael one that's in sunrise or opposite in citrus heights off of sunrise and one in midtown sacramento uh we have connected with um, the sacramento food bank who has two different opportunities one working in an office clerical position helping with computers and kind of like their after school kind of program but it's still a little limited because of social distancing and also through their donation food locker. Um, there are a couple of other retail opportunities as well. Um, it's primarily grocery retail right now that I have. Um, I do have high hopes for movie theaters um, because of word that one or two are coming back, but it's still completely up in the air with the nature of everything. and. I don't want to make any big promises, but as soon as an opportunity becomes available and it matches your interest, I can definitely connect. Good. Go ahead, Stefan. Um, are there any janitorial jobs? Just asking. 
Janitorial positions, yes, there is actually. In fact, depending on uh, your availability and interest, um, there is a slight possibility of having you connect with uh, one of our um, side contracts through Crossroads and having you work or slash use your work hours through Crossroads through our um, or service, our facility side, which is a good opportunity for um, direct hire. Now, the four services side can be a little bit difficult sometimes because of depends on your availability. But through the program, there's a lot of flexibility, and we can work together with HR and the case manager, which would be myself, uh, on how that can all play out. Thank you. Uh, yes, Clyde. Yes. Right? Yeah, you said that right. Don't worry. Um, yeah. What is it that you do? So I am case manager. Pretty much what I do is I go through recruitment, uh, hi, um, gathering youth who are interested in the program. I do work readiness training. So I go over workshops on how to get a job and do a lot of the training aspects before placed with an employer. Now, in the past, it was all me doing job development and connecting with employers, and then providing that one-on-one -on -one case management and assistance. Um, this program year, we have a job developer who is connecting with employers uh, as we speak right now. And that way, when youth have finished their work readiness training, uh, we have a list of employers who are available to start almost immediately. And a lot of these employers are known for hiring directly. And so what my job would be would be the first half, which would be work readiness training, and then checking in on you uh, on a weekly basis as you work during the internship, just to make sure everything's going okay. Because it's not like we're going to find you a job and then leave you alone. We want to support you as well. And so by doing that, I can check in on a weekly basis, see how you're doing anything we can do to help support you, but also to provide any type of supportive services. Like say you have an interview, an employer really wants to interview you and wants to hire you. Well, if you don't have any interview clothes or you want to feel a little bit more professional, we can provide that type of service and funding for that. Um, if you... Uh, require say uh, you've had a really bad day at work and you don't have any lunch <laughs> we can provide uh, <laughs> funding for lunch heck we can do it um, <laughs> gift cards so on and so forth any type of supportive service that's needed we can allow wow There's a lot of just preparing you for work and then also retention once you're working and employers do have that um, say where if they are not going to hire, that's perfectly fine. We're not gonna leave you high and dry. We're also gonna try and connect you and do follow-up services and, and try to look for other jobs available as well. The biggest thing is just making sure that if this is something you're interested in, to have that full kind of communication aspect, just to let me know uh, and keep in contact with me because otherwise it's gonna be a little difficult to try and place you or connect you with an employer. All right. I think I got all I know that. that was a very long-winded answer, but... Uh, yeah, I don't mind. I broke down everything, but yeah. I'll any think as much as, as I can. <laughs> and I'm always open if you have any questions. I will, at the end of this, I will provide my contact information as well as uh, I'll, I'll send a flyer over if I haven't already to Sherry and the application. Then I can walk you guys through the entire thing. Um, okay. Good question. Very good question. Thank you. Do we have another? Hey. <laughs> Matthew, you have a question? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so if we have enough people interested, would you be willing to still do our, the classes with us? Instead oh of yeah, of course. In fact, if you even have one or two people interested, I'll still do the classes. And if anybody is feels engaged and would like to join, you're more than welcome to. Um, at this point, I'm still doing a lot of recruitment. So I have until the end of December, early January to recruit and fill these slots, which I have 
10 slots available. Ooh, we've so, already got seven. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, technically seven, uh, four of those are pending, but yeah, everything looks pretty good. So um, if you're interested, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, we can even get this process started. Um, I'll send the application, which will look a little intimidating. It's just fill in the blank uh, PDF style. But if you ever have any questions, feel free to contact me and I can walk you through it. We'll do it like a phone, a video chat, however, just to answer your question. Any questions? I have one more question, Matthew. How many hours can they earn this year? Uh, uh, up to 200 hours, uh, minimum 160. So 160 to 200, depending on uh, direct hire. A lot of what SETA, who is our funding source right now, is changing up a couple of the WEX hours because not everybody did work experience last program year because of COVID. And so they're trying to do the new fiscal funding and see if everything works out all right. Um, but to my knowledge, the last thing that was heard was 200 hours max. Okay. So those are hours you can get paid while you're trying to prove yourself, right? That they want to hire you. So you get paid for your training. Mm -hmm. Yes, most definitely. And, uh, the, the, it's going to be at 1350 right now. And then as soon as January starts, it'll move up to, I believe, 14, whatever the minimum wage changes in Sacramento. We always make sure that we match that. And uh, Crossroads, we're going to be the technical employer, even though you're going to be working with a different uh, with a different location. Uh, insurance, everything is through Crossroads. So do not feel free. Do not hesitate to ask any questions or anything. Uh, any questions, I'll definitely answer as well. And there's a lot of flexibility, too. So after the workshops, there's a lot of flexibility on like hours. So like, say you can only work two days a week for three hours. Um, so long as we connect with the employer and make sure that we have open communication, that's been definitely a possible. Natasha has a question. Yes. Um, I was, I was going to ask, is there any seasonal jobs that are available? Seasonal jobs. There are a lot of retail positions that are still technically hiring the classic target, so on and so forth. But because of social distancing, there is a definite limit on how many people can get hired and how many people are on a certain shift. Uh, so depending on, like, say, the type of position available, they have certain hours, like, say, only morning or afternoon. If that's something that you're interested in uh, and you want, you can feel free to email me and I can give you some job leads as well. A lot of grocery stores are hiring, too. There's a huge boom in that as well. Come on, go ahead. Thank you. Um, does that imply to janitorial positions as well? Or is it a lot different for them? It's a little different because janitorial is mainly just the cleaning aspect and sanitization. In fact, you can see it as retail janitorial across the entire board, uh, grocery, retail, office, anything having to do with what they call sanitization because of COVID uh, is a really big, important, and a really big need. OK. It's a Thank great you. time for the kind of job you're interested in, Stefan. Mm -hmm. And the great, it's great time for custodial, right? For all the high touch cleaning and. Oh, yeah. Indeed. And yeah. Grocery stores, too. Those are the places they're getting hit the hardest. Yes, most definitely. Um, my personal connections I've known someone who, for the past six months, have been working strictly sanitization at a grocery store um, because that's just the need. Um, and so if you do well, you know, they trust you. So, and that's something that we want to do with employers is build a good rapport with them and build that connection. And that's kind of what the good thing is about the program is a good foot in the door to build that connection with employers. Anyone else have a question? Go ahead, Tyler. So I signed up for it last year and I never got to a position. So would I have to sign up for it again or do I, do I, it just get to do it. No, nope. so Tyler, because you were in last program year, uh, do you remember what I said last time about not ditching you? So we're still working together. 
so pretty much I'm waiting on your call to let me know what your availability is. And it's not going to be more of the placement hours because it's a little limited right now. But I am work I can work with you on finding a job job through direct hire. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Do you do anything with Amazon? Actually, yeah, we've connected with Amazon recently. One of my job developers uh, has a connection with the Amazon West Sac and has connected with two departments, the customer service, so kind of answering calls so you can work at home, and the actual in-store or in the warehouse position. But the warehouse position can be very difficult because... <laughs> Uh, uh, require a lot of physical movement. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know and we can try to connect you. But just to be clear, that's something you really want to do um, because it's a really big commitment. Yes, Tom? Well, I was going to say that Smart and Final and Carmichael, I live very close to there, and I think that would be a good uh, position. A good connection? All right. Uh, I'll give you a buzz later today, and we'll connect offline, all right? Okay. All right, you have the same number? Yeah. All right, cool. So I'll connect with you. So how many do you think you're interested? My honest opinion, um, I may have to think about it, but it sounds really interesting and really fun when I think when you think about it. So I might have to think about it first, and then I'll get back to you. Don't think too long, because he gets these positions filled. It's for the whole year. Okay? Oh, he gets, Jesus. what, 17 for the year, and you have, what would you say, 10 or 11 left? Yes. So the program uh, pretty much does not end until June 30th of next year. And when you're in, you're in up until the end. Okay? Even when the program officially ends, you're still within follow-up services with me. Uh, such as Tyler and Jordan and Royce, where I connect with you and I can still help you look for a job. And so pretty much when you sign up, you're kind of committed to working with me for a little over a year, maybe two years. Royce, There's a lot of retention services. Royce, what did you think about the clerical position? Nice. He loves clerical and his typing is very good. Well, how many words, Royce? 45 words per what do you really words per minute? He's really good in the office. That's really good. That's uh, the what they look for for state positions in county. Yep. Minimum yep. 35 words per minute. Yeah, he's there. It looks like Nathan wants to ask something. Yeah, I saw that. Nathan, how's it going? <laughs> um, I'm good. I am definitely interested. I will have to uh, um, talk to my parents about it. But it does definitely sound like something my dad will definitely want me to push for kind of thing. So I think it will be a really good opportunity. So I'm definitely interested. Awesome. Thank um, you for your interest on that. <laughs> um, although I do have a question. Yes. Is there any auto mechanic uh, career opportunities? So mechanic is definitely difficult. Um, in the past, we've had youth who are interested in working in auto mechanic, the closest thing we can do is try to aim for like retail positions in that same industry, such as like AutoZone and stuff like that. Um, but even so, it would only be primarily just stocking and cleaning. If you want to connect with one of the actual staff and learn a little bit more, kind of mentor off of them a little bit, then that's something that you can do and build that connection with. However, because working in auto mechanics is considered a trade where you go into training and specialize in, it's a little difficult to do through this type of internship program. But difficult, but not impossible. Right. You'll still have to go through extra steps. But building that connection is definitely a big plus. Yeah, because I was going to say that's definitely a good opportunity because I was talking to Larry about it last Friday, and he said that I should definitely uh, – he can look into those opportunities like a gas station or AutoZone and then that way I can get my foot at least into the door of um, mechanics and then go to school and then mm -hmm. study a little more on that and go to school for that. Yeah. Then we figure out with the car dealerships to work there, you have to have your license, right, Matthew? 
Yes, we did. We did have a connection to working at one of the um, Sacramento Meta on the lot. Uh, however, you need your license for that. Um, so if you have your license and that's something you're interested in, I know it's a very niche thing, let me know. Uh, but other than that, depending on your interest, we'll definitely try to match that. Because how the process goes is I pretty much connect with you on the application process and kind of see what you're interested in. And from that, while I'm working with work readiness, I connect with my job developer who will then take the, your interest and already connect off the bat. That way, by the time we're done with work readiness, uh, my job developer we should have a list of employers available. That way, we can kind of get started in this nice, stream, smooth process. Good. Any other questions? Really quickly. All right. Yeah, another hand. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, is there another? Is there any job openings for like, uh, excuse me, care, care facilities? Care facilities? Uh, mm -hmm. I have noticed personally that there are a couple positions available. Um, however, a lot of those are mainly for like, say, what is the official term for them? I don't want to say nurses, but there's, a, there's an official name for them. Uh, caretakers? There you go. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's pretty much what I was looking for. There are a lot of positions, but once again, just very similar to the um, mechanic position, that's considered more of the, uh, yeah, CNA. Thank you, John. Uh, that's uh, considered a training. Um, so you have to go into training, into the medical a little bit, just to kind of get into that position. The closest you can hope for for working in a um, care facility would be janitorial, something similar like that. I mean, I've helped. I mean, I'm already pretty much experienced for taking care of other people, so. Well, remember, things are called foot in the door, Andrew. Like if you really want to work in that care facility and you start with whatever opening there is, right? So True. Is, yeah, it's all completely case by case. In the past, the closest we, we've only had one care facility that we've worked with, and I forget the name of it, but it's in Rancho Cordova off of Coloma, and uh, we've connected with them where our youth pretty much go in and assist at the front desk and provide small clerical duties from there. Um, because of the nature of everything um, and health. There's a lot of risk. We're not allowed to really have anybody interact with people. And a lot of this is for your safety as well. Uh, if your hopes are to go into a care facility, what we can do during a work readiness and in a side appointment, I can work with you on the side to see what kind of steps you can take to get into that type of position as a career later on down the road. That way we can see how we can aim your work readiness uh, and your internship towards that path. Does that make sense? <laughs> yep. A lot of this is completely case by case, but the ultimate goal is to get you the experience and to help you connect uh, with employers. Okay. Uh, do we have any other questions? So really quickly, um, Sherry, do I have the capability of sharing my screen? Yes, I made you co-host. Yay. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can find the application really quickly just to show you guys what it looks like. Natasha, did I see your hand up? I'm just waiting patiently because he's going to show the screen. If you have a question, feel free to ask me. I, I, I can definitely work. Oh, I just have a question about, because um, I did I think I did Crossroads. If, um, I don't know what year, but I did it, but I don't know if it'd still be effective now. Um, connect with me after, and um, I can see uh, how long ago 
Okay. And if that would be an issue or not. If it is, then I, I can just connect with you on the side and still provide some sort of services. It just won't be in direct placement internship kind of a thing. Uh, okay. We'll work on it, okay? Yep, thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, let me see if I can share my screen real quick. Let's do... Okay. All right, can everybody see this? Yes. Crystal. Okay, so this is the application to the program. It looks intimidating, but actually the real thing is I only care about this section right here. Okay, this is going to be what the application looks like. I will send it to Sherry and she can distribute to whoever is interested. But a lot of this is uh, fill in the blank. Where you see the check marks, you can just simply click. Um, I'm in view mode, so I can't edit this document at all. All these blank spaces, you can just type and fill in and then save and submit. Um, just be very careful of this clear button. I've tinkered with it a lot and I've lost a lot of information, so please don't do that. <laughs> Um, but this is what the application looks like. Uh, it looks incredibly official, but uh, like I said, it's very simple. And if there are anything in here that you are not entirely sure of, like have questions about, not sure what it says by like, say, uh, citizenship, uh, citizen or permanent residence, uh, that gets confusing for some. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to just leave it blank and then connect with me and I can walk you through the entire thing. Okay. Um, and then let me see if I can go into the app, the application that I care about. This is the second half, which is a word doc. And this is, this is the part of the application that asks a lot of questions on like, what is your availability? Uh, what are your interests? What kind of uh, positions are you looking for uh, for the program? Uh, what, and uh, what kind of jobs? And what do you uh, hope to get out of this experience? Okay. Uh, it's, looking, it's pulling up really wonky. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Okay, here we go. Uh, I, it's saved all weird. I'll have to fix it. Um, but full name, address, so on and so forth, a lot of fill in the blank. Um, but right here is what I like to know. Uh, uh, have you tried looking for employment before? What's worked, what hasn't, what your availability is, some comments. This is a lot of get to know you kind of stuff. And that's what I like to know. I want to know a little bit more about you so how I can better help you as well. Okay. And then this is this page is also very important for documentation. So the paperwork part is always the most difficult and the longest process when it comes to enrollment into the program. And I like to connect with people to kind of say, this is what we need first. That way there's no hiccups in the road. This page will tell you everything that you need along with the application, any documents that I will need, such as if you, a photo ID, social security, and this could all be done just, uh, you can do a screenshot on your phone and send it through email, so on and so forth. And then once I receive it, I delete it on my end. Um, that way there's just no breaching confidentiality and so on and so forth. Um, you can also fax it to me as well. Um, there's a lot of ways we can get this through, but that's gross, we have to fix that. Um, that's pretty much what the uh, application looks like. Um, so like I mentioned before, if there's any questions about the application, uh, please don't hesitate to ask me, let me know, and we can walk through it. I know a lot of it looks intimidating, but just let me know. And sometimes it'll be incredibly simple. So don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Do we have any final thoughts, questions? Concerns? Mm. Not at the moment from me, no. But it sounds pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. 
Um, if there is anything, you're more than welcome to connect with me. Um, I will add my email and contact information into the chat, and you guys can feel free to kind of copy and paste that. Uh, All right. To your own records. And then uh, you can feel free to contact me uh, whenever, okay? Uh, normal business hours. All right. I say that sometimes, and some people actually take that to the extreme, and I'll get a message like 10 o'clock at night and stuff. <laughs> Um, please don't be mad at me if I don't respond until like business hours. All right. Uh, if there are no other questions, I'll head this one back to Sherry. Thank you very much, Matthew. Thank you. So I'm just going to add this information and then, um, I'll head out. <laughs> Everyone say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Talk to you soon. All right. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Oh, Hello, Miss Sherry. Hello, Sherry. Hello, happy Friday. Uh, where's your picture? Oh, I was checking the chat. I was waiting for the phone number. Okay. Oh, Jonathan just got here. Nice. You missed everything. <sighs> Jonathan, come on, buddy. Think? Um, like, like I said before, I am definitely interested. It sounds something that my parents will definitely want me to push for and try out because it's it's a good opportunity and like one it's of, an excellent opportunity it. especially if you all pick the ones that are hiring now right matthew oh. yes most definitely <laughs> so i know you're all looking for these special what? jobs and you're going to have multiple opportunities throughout the year but if you really want to work i will go with where they're hiring Right? We don't start with our dream job always, right? We start with a job we'd experience to put on our resume and to make some money and just to prove yourselves good employees. And then you start getting references. So honest, you can hang out for the harder jobs, but I know if you're going through this that we're usually looking at least second half of the year for the harder ones, right, Matthew? Okay, so if you really want to start working something now, I would really look at the things that Matthew's talking about with the Smart and Finals and the, the Food Bank. Um, Royce, I think that clerical sounds awesome. Stefan, the janitorial. Um, you know, go in there, improve yourself, and get hired. And the best time to look for a job mm -hmm. is when you already have a job. That's what I believe. Clad, please come back on. Sorry, I was putting I'm in information. Playing, I'm not playing this. Okay. I was putting in. I was putting his information in a document. Okay, that's what you do after class. Okay. But then the chat won't be there, and then I can't see it. Go ahead. I can't miss this information. Or Clive, what you can do, you can copy it, which is tap and hold. Then it'll pop up. Copy um, phone number. Then. Copy it, then paste that into your contacts. You will also send it to me, and I have his phone number, okay? This is right. happening I'll do it, you guys. Oh. Yvonne, go ahead, Yvonne. Sherry, I can, I can highlight and copy and put it. All right. I can put it on my computer and then send it to the students later after the meeting. Okay. Okay, so I'll take care of that. Right. Okay, I'll do it right this now. This keeps happening, for example, yeah, in, the afternoon, in our afternoon meetings when I'm not there, you're all turning the assignments into me during the meeting. That's not okay. Do you think I don't look at the time? Right? You're supposed to be here for class. Bye, Matthew. Thank you. Okay? I mean, each day I haven't been in these, I'm getting texts during class and emails during class. And you know that's not our class rules, okay? Okay, Clad? You're one of the All ones right. from yesterday too. Okay, your afternoon class is 25 minutes. Be respectful, right? You get so many hours in a day where you can do these things called independent study, right? Okay? Right. Jonathan, what took you so long this morning? Wait, what? 
Why are you so late? Ah. Right. It's not an answer. Why are you so late? I forgot. I, wait, I, I don't, oh. Okay. I don't, I'm late now. Okay. So I don't want to just hammer on all of you. These are some really good opportunities, though, you guys. Okay. Even if it's not a hire, which hopefully you turn it into a hire, it's still a couple hundred, what? How many, like a hundred hours or so of paid money for experience? Go ahead, Natasha. Mm -hmm. I'm actually interested. I have to see about my um, history with the with Crossroads. That's all I'm just wondering about. Yeah. Go ahead, Nathan. Um, I was gonna say, yeah, no, that's why I brought up the auto mechanic stuff with that. I figured that it was probably not gonna start there because, like I talked said before, I talked to Larry about it. And he said that I should start. Stephon, please stop playing with whatever you're playing with. Thank you. Go ahead, Nathan. Uh, like I was saying before, I did talk to Larry about it because Larry actually was an auto mechanic for a couple of years, and he said that I should like start there, like at AutoZone or at a gas station to put my foot through the door and then make those um, those connections with people. And then I can like gather more and more experience as I go on. And then I right. Can there are some things because I've definitely worked with students, Nathan, that are interested in auto. So like he said, and like Larry was talking with you about, you can get in those places, right? And you can get into a dealership with a license, but to actually do something in the automotive industry, chances are you're going to need a certificate or two, no matter who you know, unless it's a small shop, right? A small shop is better for some of our guys um, when you don't want to go through all the schooling of it. So those are also opportunities, but to actually do something auto mechanic, um, you're going to need to look at some certificates and we can help you with that. Go ahead, Yvonne. Um, American River College has a really good program in, in automotive. Jordan. You're just throwing that out there. Yes, Nathan. Um, I was going to ask Miss Yvonne, how, uh, I think I'm how much uh, per a school uh, session do you think it would be? Or school year how long is that what you're saying um how much look at the certificates they are some of the harder certificates i know that but what you do is just go to arc and look at all the automotive <laughs> certificates because certificates are a lot faster than a degree mm -hmm. okay and it depends on what type of auto work you want to get into and it might even change your mind when you look at the amount of classes that are required for different ones. You might go, well, that's my dream, but look at these classes. But <laughs> that's pretty cool, and it's only this much of a list, right? Mm -hmm. So that's something to really research, okay? You just look at, they have all kinds of certificates for auto. Anybody else have things to talk about? Stefan, you had something. No, you're good? Okay, the people I'm not hearing from daily, I need to hear from. I've not heard a word from Sam. I don't think I've heard anything from Royce. Yeah. I need to hear things from you. Devin, I haven't heard from you all morning. Yes, Devin? <laughs> I'll have to talk to my dad about it, but I think I can do it. I think you can too. And remember, they're going to be hours outside of search hours, okay? So you're mainly looking at weekends, late afternoons, and evenings. But what's really a really neat thing about going through Crossroads is you can pick only two, three, four-hour shifts if you want. It's up to you. We're in a job, right? you got to kind of work the schedule. They're needing you to work. But to start with Crossroads, it's really flexible in your hours. Hmm. Okay. It's been Eleanor, I haven't heard from you either. Hey, Do you have any questions, Eleanor, about the jobs? Are you awake? Yeah. 
<laughs> I got my way. Sam, do you have anything to talk about this morning? Uh, question for Sue. Uh, do you get my email last night from the 30 commercial? I think I did, Sam. Let me double check. Thank you. And Sam, you haven't sent You're your welcome. email, correct? I've, I sent it to yeah. you to look over. I finished mine before okay. I sit it out. Okay, um, when we have your phone call today, let's have it up, okay? Because it's just a tiny little bit of things. It's just tiny. Okay. okay. And how many else of you have not sent out your mentors? I did. I know you did. You did good. I'm asking who I happened. sent mine out yesterday. Good. Devin, did you send yours? Yes, you did. In fact, I read your reply. Maggie had a lot of things to say, huh? Can't hear you, Devin. Can you unplug and replug, maybe? Okay. Stephon, can you please sit up? Okay. I'm done playing. Can you hear me? Sit up. I don't need to see your knees. You're not sitting up when I see your knees. Go ahead, Devin. Um, okay. I think I'm interested. Oh, in the job? Good for you. Yeah. All right. So you're going to reach out to them, right? If you all need help doing these applications, we can help you in your one-on-one -on -one time, okay? It's much better to make sure it's complete and ask for help if you need to than to just try to rush through it yourself or to try to just go, well, I don't know that one, so I'll leave it blank because you really don't want to leave things blank on an application, okay? So if you need our help, use our help. And Sam, thank you for having your headphones today. I can hear you much better like that. Thank you. Okay, so I had some other things to talk with you all about. And sorry, I had a quick question. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, I was just wondering, are you okay with Eleanor's mentor for her to email it today? I love it. Okay. And the couple of you that added the pictures, Eleanor and Royce, I think were the only ones. Awesome. It just puts, it puts you there, right? It, it has them seeing you and I think it adds a whole lot to it. So thank you too. I didn't require it. I said it was optional, but it's really nice. No problems. So when you do your next email mentor, I'll send that out before Monday morning. So you're going to do what I, what I say in the mentor, but you're also going to respond to something that your mentor has said to you, right? Like I find it interesting that, or um, just something. You're going to respond to something they had to say, and then you're also going to put your new input. Go ahead, Andrew. So, so and Pam, for what Pam asked me, she, she asked me what was EVS. Okay, and... and be, things like this, when you start using acronyms, if people don't know the acronyms, you can't use the acronyms. So first you would write out the word, right? Environmental services is what it's called. And then parentheses, you could put EVS. And once you've done that once, then throughout the body of your email, you can do EVS. But you have to first state what, what the word is that you're using the acronym for. Okay? Because people are in Kaiser, they're going to have no idea what EVS means, right? If you're sending to Justia, she's going to know that. If you're sending to someone at, in San Juan, they're not going to know what that means, okay? So that's okay, understandable. Reply. So remember, you're only going to do this once a week, so you're not going to start replying right now, okay? Because we don't want to overdo this, and we don't want to get it where it gets too personal and not professional. So each week, right, you'll be doing a new one, and that's where you can address what they had to say. You can comment, you can ask questions, right? And then you can ask for the new info that I'll give you, okay? 
All right. We both did a good job. One thing I noticed is some of you are leaving, you're leaving the words in, they're supposed to be examples. Like, glad you had that mm. twice. You weren't the only one though, right? Where it said like, for example, sincerely slash, uh, what time regards, time regards. He had both of those or on the top <laughs> that information to include, he left in the information to include. Right. So <laughs> that, that's just, and you weren't the only one Clad. You're the one I'm just remembering the most in my head right now. I'm not trying to pick on you, but um, that's fine. I'm used to it. Um, that you don't want that stuff in there. That's me giving you guidance, right? But you erase that stuff mm -hmm. as you go. Okay. Oh, well, come All back fun. Right. So today I had asked you to have your codes ready and to have Ooh. this sheet ready, but we're going to do this not today now. We're going to do it Monday. So have this stuff again on Monday. A couple other things I want to talk to you about. Going forward, I would like you all to also be doing your daily recognition reports yourself. Go ahead, Nathan. Um. <laughs> Funny story. So you know that time when you came to pick up the work from the uh, the first um, the last quarter? Yes. I think I accidentally left that paper in there, and I, think, I never took it out. So I did I. You were, Nathan, you were the one that gave me the idea because you're the only one that had one in there that you filled out, and it was really honest. And so, yes, daily, I'm going to want you to do this. And then when we have our phone calls on Friday, okay, we're going to discuss the assessment you got from staff and yours, and we're going to see where the differences are, and we're going to talk about that, okay? So okay. a new little thing that you're going to do every day, but really, I mean, it takes just a couple of minutes, right? It's just this day. Were you on time? You know, were you here? Okay, and then that way we can, we can discuss it. All right, so that's a new thing. And then the other thing I noticed by picking up everyone's paper. Where's the, is that me echoing? Huh. All right, this one is something else people hardly touch. This is an important assessment that we need to do three times. Go ahead, Natasha. I actually filled that out with Yvonne. Okay. There were very few that filled it out. So, okay, where is my echo coming from? I believe it's Eleanor. Yeah. I was just about to say that. Okay. Okay. So, how many of you think you completely completed this and gave it to me? Okay. I will look at those. But what I'd like to do for those that haven't is we're going to do it as a class, okay? So I know this is quite a few pages, but if I send it to you again, do you think you can get it printed? Okay. But this, is a, this is a really good and important assessment, and it, it helps us teach you, right? So we see what you're missing. Like this one, right, it basically goes by all the different sections and courses that we teach in Project Search. Right? So we can go through these things and go, oh, right. well, he still needs help with that. We can help him. And also, you're going to feel very accomplished as you go through it each time and realize that you've learned so many more things that you get right. to do the second time and the third time. Okay? So is that okay yeah. for everyone? So for this, you would only need to print one copy. And for this, you would print... You would need one a week, so I would probably just print out a few of them at once and have them. All right, so this is what our phone calls will look like then. So we can really discuss how you think you did and how we think you did. Okay? All right. I'll send those out today. Go ahead, Yvonne. Are you going to send those out um, through email? I mean, digitally? Yes. Yes? Okay. That are, I was going to send them through email. That was my plan. Does that work? Okay, awesome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, go ahead, Stefan. Can you send that to me, Dad? Yes. Yes, I will. Okay, and sometimes, you know, I didn't get to know you all in person, so I didn't know your 
strengths or weaknesses in reading or writing or in working independently. But when I see something like that come back from so many students, not complete, I feel like, you know, maybe it was a little too much to ask you to do on your own. Okay. So that's why I want to help you. If I see things coming back complete and they were easy for you to do, then I'm like, they got this. Jordan, you had your hand up earlier. Did you want to say something? And I see you, Natasha. I was going to say that I did that um, suit the uh, packet that you just showed us, the evaluation one. I did that and the other one when it was in my photo. Um, I don't know if you saw it, but I did it when I gave it to you. Okay, so I'll look through those and then maybe I'll just, if, if the half of you have done it, but I didn't see many that looked very complete, honestly, but I'll look through them closer. Go ahead, John. Uh, our first week, I did it with my, all of my students <clears throat> went over it, so I can't remember who those students were. But it was me. Uh, yeah, I know Tyler, Andrew. Good. Yeah. Good. It's, yeah, yeah, it was one. Me of as well, John. Go ahead, Plaid. Plaid, yeah. I'm saying I was also one of the people that work with John. Okay, good. And I have it, I think I have it all on my phone. If so I could have all that information, mm -hmm. that would be really helpful. Because yeah. we are going to do this two more times this year. Okay? And it's to show growth. It's not just to make you repeat things, just to let you go, wow, I'm pretty smart. Right? <laughs> But, oh, this little thing is sticking. I got to figure out how to do it. Okay. Same with the vote, the vote fit that Sue's been doing with you. It's a lot of good information. Um, the first job matching report I did was Sam's because her IEP is coming right up. But it shows you, so that after you answer all those questions, we enter in the kind of jobs you're interested in getting. And then it prints out this big, beautiful, colorful chart, right? And it shows you where all your strengths are. And then it shows you things maybe you need to work on a little. And then there's like some of the things like these things can really hold you back. And sometimes they're simple, like some of the physical things you said you could do or that, you know, um, Sam, I'm just going to use a couple of examples. But one of the ones you said is you don't like to work where you could get a, a, a cut or a, a sting or a burn. But honestly, if you want to be a baker, chances are you might get a little cut or a little burn. So if you're saying you absolutely won't do that, just that little thing right there could take away being a baker, right? And, and maybe you don't know these things. So when we print these out and we go over them, you think about it like, well, maybe that is something I could do or no, nope, maybe I'm gonna look for another job, right? So it really helps guide you. Okay, and Sue's got almost all of those done. I think she has two more people she's working with. Is that right, Sue? That's just Natasha and who else? Plaid. Natasha and Plaid, you two need to get with Sue for this. And then when we have your IEPs or if we get back in person, which it looks like we may, when we have our employment planning meetings, it's great graphics to show and talk about in your meeting. Go ahead, Natasha. Uh, I was just gonna ask um, about so I have to go to the Vogue Fit to. Well, no, you just work with Sue, and Sue pulls up the Vogue Fit. Okay. Maybe okay, yeah. just work with her. And her slot time slot she has. What's your time slot, Sue? Uh, for Natasha, Monday is one forty, and then um, probably Tuesday. Well, I think the next time is Friday. I'm scheduled for Vogue Fit or Thursday. But the 140 is the time, right? Yes. So and I'll be sending you a Zoom invite, Natasha. Oh, okay. I was gonna say something for the money today, but um I will say that later. Oh. Okay, so yeah, you have to talk with her and you have to be able to be have some availability, right? She can change within a day or two. No, that actually fits perfectly. So I was just gonna Good, good, good. Okay, because that's the only time slot she gets in the day because she's working with individual students other than that, right? Yeah, but I have something in the morning that I... Okay, we can, we can talk about that, right? With, um, we can talk with John and I. I mean, let's yeah. talk whole class about it. 
I can tell John and you. Okay. Um, anything else right now? What do you owe me today? No one knows what they're supposed to do today with me? A phone call. Phone call. Phone oh, yeah, phone call. We had a phone call. Three times, right? The only two that switched. Okay. So, but from yes, now on, after today, when we have our phone calls, we'll be discussing your recognition report. Okay. All right. Anybody have anything else right now? Mm, let's see. Oh, was that oh. you? Yeah, I do. Um, I haven't got everybody's 30 second commercial. I just remember that that's due to me today before noon. And the picture, okay? The professionally dressed picture. How long do we have on that? Um, if you guys can get it to me today, that'd be great. But if they can't, because that's dressing in, you know, oh, Tuesday. clothes and having someone take a picture of them. Uh, the de deadline is next Tuesday. All right. So that's not something I put in as an assignment. Do you need me to put it in there, or do you all know it? I thought I could do that. <clears throat> no. So professional dress. That means you're going in for an interview. You're getting ready to get a job. That's what you need to look like in this photo. Okay? We have to work on it on Wednesday, so Tuesday is the latest, okay? Hmm. Good, good. I'd have his hand up. Sure. Okay, so for the photo you want us to send you does it have to be a full body one or just a top? It can be top. Or it can, okay. be, can it be both, John, or do you want only one way? I would prefer top because then um, and if it's too big, mm -hmm. then I have to kind of fit it. And then they match. So we're just doing the yeah. top. Okay. Yeah. If it could just All be right. a square, a nice square of a picture, that would work better. Yeah. Not a long It'd triangle. Be more rectangle. <laughs> a smile on your faces. Okay? Yeah. You want, yes. <laughs> you want to look approachable in this picture, okay? <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead, Natasha. I will try with a smile. You did it last time. You can do it. Oh, so, uh, did John, John, did you get my photo that I sent to you? Um, did you send it in an email? When did no. you send it? I sent it yesterday, but uh, I'll send it again. Uh, I'll look while you guys discuss. Nathan? Um, yes, I was going to ask Miss Sue if she got my student bio on my 30-second commercial. He's looking to, it looks like. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. So we only have one person that hasn't turned in their mentor. And that's Sam. Anyone else has not sent it out to their mentor. Good. Good job. How did that feel when you got feedback? That was great. I see. That was good. Great. Hey. Hear anything yet? I felt great to get some quality feedback. Yeah, nice. Oh, well, we're not offering you quality around here. Love it. Love it. is mine. Good job, Eleanor. I'm really proud of you. You're getting a lot of uh, you're getting a lot of your work done. That's really good. Okay, I think I can let you go unless there's any last questions. Oh, I have a question, Sherry. Go ahead, Clad. Can I get the rest of the information from the chat or no? Oh Absolutely. my God. Yeah, if you all want to the chat, go ahead and do that, okay? Thank you. So we can take a few minutes so you can all get the information. I, I'm going to send it. In fact, I was just doing that. I was going to send everybody the information, so. That works, too. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Sherry. What's that, Clad? I said thank you, Sherry. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Uh, Natasha, I did not get your photo, so do you mind just texting it to me? It's way easier that way. 
Go ahead, for some reason. I actually texted it to you. The picture? Yeah. I did not get that. Okay. Hmm. While they're getting their info, well, I guess, wait, didn't oh. they already get their information or what? We have not. <laughs> oh, okay. Not Natasha, I got your picture. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, if, you if you guys You're don't welcome. get the information from chat, Yvonne's going to send it out to everyone. And, you know, worst comes to worst, I also, well, not worst comes to worst, but I also have all that information. I've been working with Matthew for probably, I think it's about our, it's at least our fourth or fifth year. Wow. wow. Yeah, because it's another great opportunity. I'm just going to bring wow. all the opportunities I can, right? We're always looking for more people to help. All right. I got everything. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I can't think of anything. <laughs> oh, I wanted. Make sure you meet up with your staff, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm showing me up with you later. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there is no afternoon zooms on Fridays. Right. Okay. Okay. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> call me at your time, and hopefully you'll all have a grand weekend. Thank you, Sherry. <sighs> we sure will. All right. I will talk to you all later and see you on Monday. Yeah, and also, Sherry, real quick. Yes. What I have here is a little bit of puzzle. If you want, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> look. Okay, how appropriate non topic is this, Andrew? Sorry. And Jonathan, you make no noises but laughing at inappropriate things. Okay? I need you to work on. Okay something appropriate rather than just laughing when people are doing things they shouldn't be doing. Okay? Got me? Okay. Thank you very much. Got it. All right. <laughs> so, talk to y'all later. All right. All right you See too, you, Sherry. Sherry. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.